Welcome to lesson 16 of the HESI A2 exam online test preparation course. This lesson is part of a complete course brought to you by the creators at HESIexam.org. By the end of this lesson, you will learn everything you need to know about physics for your HESI exam. Let's get started. The basic principles of physics are used daily by many health professionals in the various aspects of radiation dose limits, radiation safety, patient positioning, and protection. Health professionals need to understand these principles. Speed and velocity. To understand the behavior of matter, the nature of motion must be understood. Average speed is the distance an object travels divided by the time the object travels with no regard to the direction of the travel. When written mathematically, the concept is represented where VAV is equal to average speed, D equals distance, and T equals time. Velocity describes speed in a specific direction. Speed is quantified by a simple numeric value and is expressed in units of magnitude. Velocity is also a vector quantity, meaning it describes the time rate of change of an object's position. This is expressed in units of magnitude and direction of motion. The average velocity of an object can be found by averaging the initial speed and final speed of the object or add together and divide by two. Mathematically, it can be represented by VF equaling final velocity and VI meaning initial velocity. Objects in motion tend to change velocity over time, such as the case with acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity over a time period. It is expressed in terms of direction and magnitude. It is represented mathematically as A equals acceleration, VF equals final velocity, VI equals initial velocity, and delta T is the change in time. An object's acceleration as it is released above the surface is influenced by the force of gravity. Gravity without wind resistance accelerates an object released from above the Earth's surface at the rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. An object can also display two motions at the same time. This is called projectile motion. An example would be if a can was kicked at the edge of a cliff, the can will move horizontally at the same time it falls towards the Earth. The horizontal motion is not an accelerated motion. In a mathematical equation, horizontal distance, or dx, is a function of velocity, or vx, and time, which is represented by t. The x subscript represents motion along the horizontal plane, or the x-axis. Need to reach a high score on your HESI exam to get into your top nursing program? Click the link in the description below to view the online course and study guide where you'll see the titles of all 16 HESI exam lessons and view sample pages from our study guide. Now, if you're the type of person who wants all exam information in one place at an affordable price, then click the Get Instant Access Now button to get started today.